From your group's homepage, locate the calendar icon at the bottom of your screen and press it. Your group's calendar appears two different ways. At the top, you will see the standard calendar with all the days in the month. Below, you will see the calendar in list format, which will show you upcoming events if there are any. To switch to a different month, press the arrows located left and right of the month. Let's say you wanted to see the events happening on April 14th. All you have to do is press the 14th on the calendar and make sure you are in the month of April. If there are any events, they will appear in the list just below the calendar. If you want to add an event, press add at the top right of your screen. Enter a title. If you want, add a description of the event. Now, choose which calendar you want this event under. If you press default calendar, it will take you to all the color-coded calendars you have created. If the event reoccurs weekly like a meeting or practice, choose repeat. One of the best features of our calendar is the RSVP option. Add this if you want to know who is attending the event, who might be able to attend, and who cannot attend. Even more, you can customize the options members can select by pressing Add RSVP option. You can share this event as a post. Once you upload this event to your calendar, a post will be uploaded with the event as an attachment. And lastly, you can add a reminder to make sure your members know that the event is happening soon. Once you're finished entering in the necessary information, press done at the top right. As you can tell, a blue dot has been added under the 14th. The blue representing the calendar of optional events. It also is shown in the list at the bottom. If you go back to your group's homepage, you'll see a post uploaded about the event. If you press into it, the RSVP option will appear. Members will then choose an option. Once all members have selected an option, you'll receive a notification telling you that everyone has RSVP. Additionally, a box on your community board has been created. It's called Upcoming Events. Once you start adding events, this box will continue to tell you when the next event is occurring. Back to the calendar icon, let's go over calendar settings. Press the settings icon located at the top right of your screen. You can export this calendar to another calendar, such as your Apple calendar. Next, you can arrange certain permissions. Let's say you are the admin and you want to make sure you can only add events. Press permission to add events, and then change to admin only. Repeat this process for editing and adding calendars. Remember that upcoming box that appears on your community board? Well, choose show upcoming events to change the amount of days that box shows for events. Its default is at 14 days, so it will show all the upcoming events in the next two weeks. Press Show Holidays if you want to add or delete holidays from your calendar. Next, this is where you can add those color-coded calendars we mentioned before. If you want to import your calendar, press Subscribe by URL at the bottom. Then, enter the external URL of the calendar you want to import. Choose a name for the calendar and a color, and then press Done at the top right. We have a separate tutorial video on how to sync calendars. To find this video, please visit the band guide which can be found in the More tab located at the bottom right of your homepage. Well, now you have learned how to use the band calendar. Start creating events and keep your schedule and group organized.